All right, let us look at this question on Coulomb's law. Uh, two point charges Q1 uh, and Q2. Yeah, Q1 is a positive 4 microcoulomb and Q2 positive 6 microcoulomb uh, are separated by a distance of 50 cm as shown in this figure below. Uh, so you have uh, two point charges here, Q1 and Q2. Uh, both are positive charges. Okay. Uh, determine the position of a point charge Q that is placed on the line joining Q1 and Q2 such that the net force acting on it is zero. Acting on who? Acting on who? Okay. Uh, acting on the Q. The, uh, this, uh, okay. We, sh we can take this as Q3. Uh, take this as Q3. So, uh, acting, the force acting on it, uh, on it, means the Q3 itself, yeah? Q3 is the force acting on it. Yeah? The it is the Q3. Uh, so, that means we are taking the, te the Q3 as test charge, okay? Q3 is the test charge. So, the net force, uh, the net force acting on this test charge, <laughs> Okay, Q3 is zero. Uh, yeah, is zero. Uh, last time we want to find the force on uh, a test charge. Now he give you uh, the net force on this test charge is zero. Uh, it's like doing the other way around. Yeah, uh, like doing backwards. Uh, this question is like doing backwards. It give you the total force already, and in which this total force is zero. Okay total force is zero. So, it mentioned that this net force only on Q3. Uh, only on Q3. So, you only draw the force on Q3 only. Uh, only draw the force on Q3. Don't draw the force on other charge. On, don't draw the force on Q1 or Q2. Only draw the force on Q3. Because he mentioned the net force on Q3 is zero. Yeah? Only on Q3. So, uh, where is this Q Q3? Where is this uh, Q3? Which is uh, placed on the line joining between Q1 and Q2? Yeah, so uh, it didn't mention Q3 is actually positive charge or negative charge. Uh, actually, uh, this, this Q3 can be either positive or negative charge. Uh, so maybe I just take it as a positive charge. Yeah, because uh, if... Uh, uh, you uh, you still get the same answer if this is a negative test charge, but I just take this as a positive test charge. Yeah, I just take this as a positive test charge. So uh, positive this uh, Q three is positive test charge. So he said the net force acting on this Q three is zero. Why is it zero? Or why is it zero? Okay, first you look at the equations of force. Force is K Q Q O R square. So force. Um, Force depend on both charge, uh, the point charge and test charge. So, uh, when you look at the force, you need to look at both charge, yeah? point charge and test charge. So, uh, Q3, Q3, uh, why the net force on Q3 is zero? Why? Uh, so, imagine if Q3 is over here, is over here, and uh, it is a positive test charge. So, uh, between one and one and three, what will happen? Both positive charge. Uh, you see, uh, when you look at the force, force you need to consider both both charge, point charge and test charge. Uh, so uh, between one and three, the point charge and test charge, uh, both positive charge. Okay, both positive charge will repel. Uh, if same charge, same charge will repel. Opposite charge will attract, isn't it? Uh, so. Uh, so uh, since both are same charge, so they repel. So F13 is to the right. Uh, okay. So the only draw the force on Q3 because he mentioned the net force on Q3 only is zero. Yeah, on Q3. So I only draw the force on Q3. Don't draw the force on Q1 or Q2. All right. Don't draw the force on Q1 or Q2. Okay. Now. Um, only the force on Q3, so uh, so repel, repel. How about uh, Q 
Q3 and Q2. Ah, sorry. So just now 1 and 3. So the force uh, experienced by Q3 is F13. Uh, so this one you write as F13 instead of F31. Uh, uh, so be careful. Uh, the, the, the charge that experienced this force is 3. Q3. So the number behind must be 3. Understand? Uh, same as this one. F23. Okay. Uh, between charge Q2 and Q3. Uh, also same charge. Isn't it? Uh, same charge to repel. The repel. So this is F23. F2 on 3. So who experienced this force? F23? Uh, Q3. Okay. So the number behind 3 uh, shows the, ch the charge that experienced the force. Okay. So Q3 experience both F13 and F23. Q3 is being repelled by Q1 and also being repelled by Q2. Actually, imagine if this is a negative test charge. If it is a negative test charge, uh, if Q3 is a negative test charge, you will still um, you will still have net force equal to zero because why? Because between one and three, uh, opposite charge they will attract. Isn't it? They will attract. Uh, so uh, F uh, F one three is uh, to the left. F one three is to the left. <laughs> okay. Uh, F one three is to the left because being attracted by Q one, and then two and three also opposite charge. Also opposite charge. Uh, so being attracted also. Uh, so it's just you see it still end up. Uh, net force equal to zero because they being cancelled off. Uh, like this one also being cancelled off, so you get net force equal to zero. Uh, so if it is a negative test charge, you still end up with net force equal to zero. So it just uh, if you change the sign of the charge, um, it just invert the force only. Yeah, F one three go to the other side. F one three go to the other side. F two three go to the other side. So you still get uh, the same thing. So I just assume this as Q three. I just assume this Q3 as a positive test charge. All right. Now, uh, okay. So net force on Q3 is zero because being uh, like being cancelled off. Uh, right now, um, I want to find where is the position, isn't it? I want to find the position of this Q3. Uh, position of this Q3. So where is this Q3? So uh, position is I uh, put as x. Uh, okay, Q3 is x distance from q1 and how far is q3 from q2 uh, if this is x then the other part is because the question already says between 1 and 2 between 1 and 2 is 50 cm between 1 and 2 is 50 cm okay so if uh, 3 to 1 is x so 3 to 2 must be uh, 50 cm minus x uh, but uh, you know this is in si unit uh, no cm is uh, non si so I must change to SI unit meter, uh, 0 0.5 meter. So if 3 Q3 is uh, X, X meter, X meter from 1, then uh, 3 must be 0 0.5, okay? The whole distance, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus X, uh, 0 0.5 minus X, which is 0 0.5 minus L. Uh, so Q3 is 0 0.5 minus X from Q2. Okay, so I got the distance already. Uh, actually, this uh, distance is uh, later we need it as R, uh, the distance R. Uh, these are the R. Uh? Okay, so uh, now total force on Q3 is zero. Okay, this is the, the total force on Q3. Okay, total force on Q3 is zero. So the force on the force on Q3, force on Q3, you have F13 and F23. Okay, F13 and F23, when you total up, they cancel each other. That's why the total force is zero. Okay, so ah, remember, the direction has positive and negative sign. Direction has positive and negative sign. So uh, remember to put in the sign. Uh, if uh, like this one, we know F13 is uh, going to the right, so it's positive. Uh, but F23 is going to the left. It must be negative. Ah, uh, going to the... Going to the right is positive. Going to the left is negative. Uh, so don't forget, F23, you need to add the negative sign. Okay? Uh, direction, we must put the sign. Yeah? So F13 is to the right is positive. Uh, is uh, positive. 
uh, but F23 is to the left is negative. Uh, is negative. Okay, negative. Uh, now, uh, negative because to the left. Now, uh, so if this one add with a negative F23, you get zero. So go to the other side, uh, it becomes positive. It becomes positive. So now, put in the, value, the equations. F13 is K. F13 is uh, Q1, Q3. Uh, R13, yeah, square. And two, F1, F23 is Q2, Q3. Uh, R23. Okay? Uh, now I can uh, remove the comment. Can remove the common. Uh, which one is common? The K. The K is the common. So I can just cancel off. Q3 also common. Uh, Q3 also common. Out of the equation already. Green cancel off. So just left with, uh, you know, uh, Q1, Q2. Uh, okay. Now how to solve? Because we have square here. We have uh, the R is square. So you can actually take all the square into one side. I uh, can take all the square into one side. Uh, why is it like that? Uh, you will know later on. Okay, R two three one uh square. This one is R one three square. Uh, and then uh Q here got Q two and then uh divide by and this one Q one uh Q one go below. Okay, Q one go below. Uh, just I just you know I just in uh exchange yeah uh, interchange. F two three go the go above Q one go below. Why I do like that? Because you have square here. Yeah, square here I need to uh, square root later on okay uh, uh, so first of all uh, uh, R23 R23 what is R23 uh, R23 is uh, between you know R23 uh, this is R23 okay uh, this is uh, this is R23 uh, this is R13 okay uh, R23 R23 is between 2 and 3 to be between 2 and 3 is 0 0.5 minus x. Uh, so that's it. Uh, R to 3 is uh, uh, 0 0.5 minus x square. Okay. And then F uh, R13 between 1 and 3. Between 1 and 3. Between 1 and 3 is x. Uh, is x. Uh, is x. Uh, and then uh, what is Q2? What is Q2? Q2, what is the charge? Q2 is what is the charge? Q2 is a positive 6 microcoulomb. Micro. Uh, micro, you need to uh, change to SI unit. Micro, 6 microcoulomb. Okay. Now, uh, 6 microcoulomb, 6 uh, negative. Micro is a negative 6. Uh, negative 6. All right. Negative 6. And then uh, Q1. Q1 uh, is... Uh, 4 micro, 4 micro. So again, 4 negative 6. Uh, 4 negative 6. So 4 negative 6. Uh, again, this one also can uh, cancel off the common. Ah, you see. Uh, why just now I uh, put the R square to the top there? Why is R square I put to the top? Why all the square I put in one side? Because now here, how do you solve? You want to find X. You want to find the position. So, how to find you have square? So, that's why I need the square root. Uh, I put the one side as square root, then easy, yeah? Now, I square root, gone. The square is gone. Uh, okay? Square is gone. So, in the end, what do I get? I get uh, here is 0 0.5 minus x. Sorry, what happened? Uh, okay. Uh, x uh, and over x so the square is gone because square root uh, this one is a uh, square root uh, 6 over 4 uh, square root 6 over 4 uh, what's the value yeah uh, square root 6 over 4 what do you get square root 6 over 4 is actually 1.2247 uh, uh, 1.2247 uh, so uh, multiply above 0 0.5 minus x and this one you get 1.2247x and uh, lastly so what's the answer uh, i get x equal to uh, uh um at last i get x equal to 0 0.225 meter uh, this one is in meter why is it in meter because just now my 50 cm i already changed to 0 0.5 meter uh, this one is uh you know this one is um 
uh, 0 0.5 this one is 0 0.5 it is in uh, it is in uh, meter uh, it is in meter okay is meter so my x also sh should be in meter you understand that uh, okay my x should be in meter so i get uh, x equal to 0 0.255 uh, 225 meter so this x is from where uh, this x is from that means q3 is x away yeah, x distance away from uh, q1 so this x is uh, q3 to q1 uh, so i should write there i should write i should write there uh, x uh, the distance the the position should be 0 0.225 meter uh, to the right of q1 uh, to the right of q1 uh, i should write there uh, 0 0.225 meter to the right of uh, charge of what of charge q1 uh, sorry of charge q1 uh, i should write that you understand that uh, you sh I, I need to write this one also i need to write this uh, to the right of q q1 also uh, the, to show the right position okay so this is the answer okay uh, uh, 0 0.2 uh, 0 q3 is 0 0.225 meter to the right or at the right hand side of q1 uh, yeah because uh, it shows this position uh, it is the r13 x is the r13 okay x is the r13 uh, all right that's the position okay that's the position uh, of where q3 experience total force equal to zero huh? total force equal to zero at uh, this position all right um, make sure you write this one huh? to the right of q1 okay to show the don't just write 0 0.225 meter you need to write where is the position of uh, q3 okay it is 0 0.225 meter to the right of q1 yeah? at the right hand side of q1 Okay, so that's the, this, the position. Okay, so see you in the next questions. Bye.